Hey there guys, how's it going? Tails First here, and today I wanted to show you guys something that I randomly came up with. I uh, didn't think it was even going to work, but it did. Um, <clears throat> so this is one of my, uh, whoop, this is one of my Harbor Freight solar panels here. Give me just a moment. There we go. This is one of my Harbor Freight solar panels here. This is one of those uh, cheapy little 1.5 volt watt solar panels. You can usually also find them under uh, the 2 watt Coleman solar panels, but they're pretty much the same thing. I, I would just assume that they're 1.5 watts. Um, I got a 30 watt solar panel, which is over there, and there's another one over there that's also 10 watts. So I got a 40 watt solar panel thing, so I no longer need these little 1.5 watt ones. And I have three of these, and this is the only one that works still. This one's a four year old uh, panel. Excuse the wind for a second. Actually, let me just close this down a little bit here so that that doesn't touch the camera. Uh, and the other two that I bought just a year ago have completely failed. I, I don't know why, because they all look kind of the same on the inside. Um, but the ones that I bought a year ago failed four times, and then I just gave up on them, and they're in a, in a box in the closet right now. But what happens is, is that uh, down here at the bottom here, or what I consider the bottom, down here, um, it kept rusting, and somehow water was getting in there. And I would seal it up uh, with uh, hot glue to keep everything sealed, and it would still get through somehow, and it would just break this one I, I don't know why this one doesn't leak at all i don't know if they did something different with this one because it's four years old and i guess the uh build quality was different then but this one's still working i cannot recommend harbor freight solar panels like this anymore at least not right now until maybe they fix that oh and one of those one-year-old solar panels uh, was actually completely wired up backwards and apparently that's something that's kind of common with the uh the newer ones versus the older ones so again, can't recommend them now, but the older ones are definitely okay. Anyway, so one thing that I wanted to do with this one is, let me get rid of this actually. One of, I shortened the, the wire here, and then underneath here is a, uh, a little 12 volt cigarette lighter socket um, that plugs into your car, and then it turns it into a USB with a little red light and all that stuff. And the reason why I chose this one, I bought this for a dollar, but the reason why I chose this particular one is because on the case, which you can't see now, it says it's rated for 12 volts and 24 volts. Uh, so the the open circuit voltage or whatever that's called um, is around like 20 or so volts. So this little guy here can handle it and not blow up when it's plugged into this guy directly. Um, so then I just take this and I have this little hook here and it just happens to fit into this relatively well. So I'll just put that out in the sun as soon as I find it. Yeah. Where's the hole? There it is. There we go. So now that's out in the sun. And what I found out that I can do is I can take this little wire here that has a USB cord on it. This is a Game Boy Color over here. So I have this little cord here, and it's got USB on one side and a plug-in to go into the, the thing here. Now I found out that this asks for three volts in, but I researched online, and I think they said that it can take, and don't quote me on this, I'd research this yourself, but it says it can take up to like 16 volts or something like that. It has a little power converter in there. However, anything above three volts does risk damaging something in the screen because it's on its own voltage rail of some sort. So again, this is probably not the best way to do this. There's, there'd probably be like a little USB to uh, like drop down converter thing to make it exactly three volts. But I found out that this actually works okay. So I plug it right into there. And then I take one of my favorite games here, which I have a couple of these. And I'll just plop that into the uh, Game Boy there. Plug that into my solar panel. There's no batteries involved. There's no battery cover even on the back here. And then I'll just switch it on. And just like that, I can game. Although, can you see that? One of the unfortunate problems with these, these older Game Boys is that it requires the sun basically to see what you're doing. But yeah. So, and like that, I can play the game. From the power of the sun. No batteries required. Unfortunately, any clouds coming in through um, lower the voltage just enough that it totally kills this. So you have to make sure that you don't have clouds in the sky. And if clouds are coming, hurry and save the game before the clouds come in front of the sun. <laughs> but it works. And it also works for a few different things. Like if you want to charge a battery bank and then use the battery bank to power your Game Boy, that also works. Um, one thing I did find out is that it doesn't put any, out anywhere near like five, 500 milliamps or anything. Because here I have a 500 milliamp little USB fan. And 
it barely turns the fan. I don't know what that looks like to you guys on the camera there, but it barely turns that. Um, so for low power devices, I'm not really sure what else you could do. Like if you could find a better, uh, like this is just a straight motor to USB here. So it's probably taking more like an amp or something to power that. And this thing obviously can't put that out, but it works with Game Boys. I'm a sh it works with uh, batteries. Um, I would highly suggest unplugging this when it goes behind the clouds though. That's the unfortunate thing because the little light stays on and it, it starts draining the battery and all that other garbage. So, so you gotta leave this in direct sunlight for it to charge the batteries. But that's a pretty neat little thing. It just plugs right into that. So yeah. Anyway, that's my little project that I did recently. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Tales First signing off. You guys, you all have a good one. Oh, and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions about making this any better or anything like that, go ahead and leave the comments in the comment section below. I'll be sure to read them. You guys have a good day. This is Tales First signing off.